Hello, I'm Igor from my Tech One, and this is Sol SV04 IDEX cylinder printer with two direct drive extruders, and it is able to print in two colors without any waste materials. Now I have Bamboo Lab AMS and it is fantastic and works great, but there I have a lot of purge and waste material and that uh, color changing time, I mean one and a half minutes per layer, that's a little bit too much. I have a feeling for smaller parts the SV04 may be even faster, but I will measure this in new future. It is very important to calibrate in X, Y and Z direction these two extruders. And actually for this I just got this package from Ember Prototypes. It says camera assisted XY calibration tool. I will test this new feature, but first I have to fix a problem on this printer. And uh, I will explain soon, but I, I mentioned this problem to the Sovol, but somehow they don't take me seriously. A similar story we got with the SV06 Plus. I was one of the first reviewers and I, and I noticed that the cable which goes to the hotbed is uh, loose, it should be fixed somehow. I even created a separate video with a solution to this problem, but only when the Joel from CD Printing Nerd created a shorty and he mentioned that uh, SV06 Plus needs the strain relief, uh, only then I got an answer from the Sovol that yes, they saw the Joel's video, so they will fix this problem in the future units. Okay, let's see the problem. So these are those two extruders and each of them has their timing belt for the x-axis. And first thing I noticed that one of them started with the wearing on one side. I analyzed the problem and then I noticed the reason for this is that this shaft here is under the angle. It cannot be tight because it has to be pulled by this tensioner here. Now the problem is that uh, this tensioner is placed in the center like we usually can see on the CD printers, but since we have here two timing belts, actually it has to be placed aligned with the timing belt because now if I pull it, it will place some angle on this shaft and on one side there is a bigger tension and that's why we can see this wearing on the timing belt. The solution will be very simple. <laughs> this bolt which pulls this uh, pulley system has to be aligned exactly with this timing belt. So let's see the solution for this problem. So first I have to remove this shield. It's holded by three bolts. Well, one is here screwed to this uh, stepper motor corner and the other two are screwed from the back side. There is also an optical limit switch for the second extruder, the x-axis. So what is my plan? Here you can see the tensioner and I want to place a hole a little bit lower so it will be aligned with this timing belt. And for this I have to take out uh, this part here. First I'm removing the tensioner. So open and branch from one side and LN key from the other. Pay attention, there are washers on both sides of this pulley, which is actually a pair of flanged bearings. Additionally, these two flanged bearings I want to replace with this pulley, which is in one piece. And pay attention that you need a version with a 4mm diameter hole, not 5mm like this one. I ordered another one, but it will arrive from China in over a month, so I made a ring and uh, now it has a 4mm hole. Just for testing, don't forget there will be a washer from both sides of this pulley and I want to mark the new position for this tensioning bolt. I already measured it, the hole must be lower exactly 5 mm and this bolt is M4 so I will have maybe half millimeter gap between two holes but now the problem is that this is some kind of press in countersunk bolt so I will try to press it out with the vise. In worst case I have to mill another part for this. This cannot be 3D printed. It's not coming out this way. I decided I will just cut it and the head will stay in this object. Position of both holes is very important, so I'm marking these lines. They're exactly 5 mm slower than the previous one. So I'm drilling here 4 mm diameter hole. And just a file to get the flat surface. And then creating a countersunk hole from the other side. And it should fit the countersunk bolt inside. The head shouldn't stick out. Probably I have to glue it, I will see if it will rotate during the tensioning. And of course I have to create another hole on this part which is still on the printer, I don't want to take it off. Very important here is again the 5mm distance from the center of the previous hole. Creating a center punch hole. And drilling with 4mm diameter twist drill. Just quick test with M4 bolt and it's ok. It's time to put everything together. 
The correct order is the washer, pulley, washer and the plastic spacer. But of course the timing belt has to be around the pulley already. I'm starting with this countersunk bolt. And the last element is this plastic spacer and I can place the bolt inside. Now the tension. It looks much healthier now. I don't forget the nut from the bottom side, but uh, don't tight it, this has to be loose. I asked the cable for the stepper motor, because it was in the way of that uh, Allen key. And now I can place back this shield. This is the limit switch and it has to be here on the top. Three bolts and I will start with uh, this one here, which goes into the stepper motor. This is the longest one from those three. And now two bolts from the side. I will just move the first extruder because it is driven with this timing belt. It's working now, it is very important to recalibrate everything because the optical switch for the x-axis is moved and it's ready for printing. Now this calibration and printing will be the topic for one of my future videos because I want to try this camera assisted XY calibration tool I got from the Ember prototypes. About this fixing work. Well, if you cannot see any wearing on the timing belt, then the, maybe it's better if you don't do it, because this is not an easy task. You must be familiar a little bit with the metal working, and this assembling is not so easy. Uh, you must have that uh, additional pulley, or well, actually you can reuse those uh, flange bearings. To solve all, well definitely I would suggest to fix this on their future units as soon as possible, so the location of the tensioning bolt must be on good position, on both sides actually. And uh, instead of those pair of flange bearings, use some normal pulley, it's much better for the timing belt. Uh, what about existing units? Well, I don't know. If you can see any wearing on the timing belt, well, definitely this problem has to be solved. Mm, you can try to solve yourself if you think you are able to do it, or just contact the Sovol and uh, find a uh, solution for this. Well, I hope I could help you a little bit with this. Uh, thank you for watching and um, happy printing!